Here in this video, we're going to show you how to build a subcontracting budget in LMN. For most of you, this will be the easiest budget we do and shouldn't take you more than just a couple of minutes. Some of you may have a lot of subcontractors, but even then, it's generally a very easy budget to build. Our only tip for this one is just to remember your forecasting. If you've projected growth in your sales and to achieve that growth, you're going to need more subs than you did last year, make sure you budget for more subs or vice versa if you're going down in sales. Also remember that last year you might have used a lot of subs for one big job or one, pick pro one big project, but this year you're unlikely to have that same big project. If that's the case, remember you're going to be adjusting your sales and your subcontracting expenses accordingly. You probably won't do that work again, so don't budget for it again. Just use your head and common sense when you're budgeting to make sure you're coming up with a realistic portrayal of your subcontracting costs. The good news is, if you do stumble into a big job that you need to subcontract again, it's not going to throw your numbers way off. Subcontracting is really easy to estimate in price. You're going to basically take their costs, your price. It's pretty hard to lose on subcontractors or get into any major trouble that way. Let's take a look now at our subcontracting budget and how to put it together. You don't need anything at the top in this budget. It makes things a little bit easier. All we need to do is actually add our subcontractor expenses. And that's just as simple as adding anything to any other budget. Go over here to add new. Put your account ID in if you have one and then enter your subcontractor expense. Now most companies are just going to have a one line like this, subcontractors. Last year we spent 12,000 on subs. This year we're going to spend 15,000 on subs. Hit save and you're more or less done. Other companies are going to be a little more detailed when it comes to this. If you use a lot of subs, you may want to break these down. For instance, I may have something like fencing subcontractors. And last year we spent 8,000 on them. And this year I think it'll be about the same. And then I've also got irrigation subcontractors. And last year we spent 12,000 and this year maybe 10,000. And I'd work my way through the list of different subcontractors that way. But I really only approach it with that level of detail if I used a lot of subs. If you don't use a whole lot of subs, then what we've got here or just even one line item is gonna be fine to move on to the next thing. Double check that your subcontracting ratio is similar to last year. And if it's not similar, maybe you've got a good reason for it. Any questions or problems when you're building your subcontractor budget? Make sure to hit us up at support at goelement.com or use the live chat to ask your questions so we can help make sure that we take away those questions for you.